always had this love for sock monkeys or monkeys. Um, my first memory was my dad had given my mom um, the cutest little Dankin uh, monkeys. And to me it was just like such a beautiful gesture of love. My dad had passed away and when that happened, I lost my dad and just thought life was too short. So um, just dropped everything and moved to Peru. I wanted to be closer to home. I wanted to see how my family grew up and just wanted to experience life as my parents did. Um, so I moved to Peru, have an aunt who lives in the Andes Mountains um, in a small town called Huancayo. And it's known as the artisan capital of, of Peru. was there for about six months and um, that's kind of where the idea sort of um, started. I saw all these talented women that were knitting their pieces and they were selling them for pennies. Um, most of them moms supporting their families and um, there was just a lot of poverty and I just saw a need but I also saw how talented they were and I thought okay there's something here and I kind of got a little glimpse of, I want to do something here, but I'm not quite sure what it's going to look like. I dreamt of you again. A memory that was caught in slow The Monkey Project are these um, sock monkeys, and they're hand crocheted, um, completely hand crocheted by Peruvian women. And the bigger vision of all of this is, you know, I'm a big dreamer, so I can just see this thing, you know, where I want it to go, and I want to do you know, character development and books. I would love to do cartoons and movies and entertainment in that area too. So, um, but yeah, that's Monkey Project.